Hey there boys, uh, King Jim 97 here. So today I wanted to I wanted to recount an experience I had. When did I do it? Last Sunday. Now this experience, while it was enlightening for me, uh, it wasn't exactly. How, how do I word this? It wasn't exactly ideal because of what what I was doing during the experience, right? So I'm just going to come straight out of it. Last week, I done about three grams of fucking mushrooms, right? Psychedelic mushrooms. And while I enjoyed it and I had a lot of fun like I said, all these things happened, I was fucking, I was, I got home, it must have been, I think my dad said I got home about half ten, and I was fucking out of it, man, like, I, I was ended up fucking on the floor, I was fucking spitting all over myself, everything, right, but this is, this is what I want to get at, right, I want to recount my experience, now, I took the shrooms, it must have been about between half seven and half eight at night and I was around my friends and that and it got to a point where my other friend he was getting picked up Connor was getting picked up and Reuben was going to walk me back that's the guy I was around apparently I was really rude and horrible to him as well but I don't personally remember any of it like it's like this is what happened yeah we uh we left his house and that and we got to because he he lives uptown in where i live right we got to the main road and we was about to cross it and uh essentially what's happened is i've personally it's it's like i blacked out i i i basically blacked out like one minute i'm following the boys next minute my my vision's gone up and when i say up i mean it's well, I'm still, like, walking in that, like, my consciousness, like, my ability to actually see has gone up, and I don't mean, oh, yeah, it's up in the fucking sky. I mean, it's it's up, up. It's, it's gone to somewhere else, right? And essentially, uh, when I got there, um, it was... There was there was this there was this voice right, and this voice was basically saying, "Oh, it's about time you showed up. We've been waiting for you. This, that, the other." And the like the nitty gritty details slipped my mind of what they said, but essentially, this voice was accompanied by, uh, if I had to guess, it would have been what another two free voices uh yeah i'm i'm doing all the music on the fly yeah uh it was accompanied by like another two free voices right and these voices were they they were friendly like it was like they had known me and when they were speaking to me they basically they made it known that they know me and some something while i was up there something it, it it snapped into place like it clicked right and I was like oh shit no way and like it, I was having this conversation with them and they were telling me oh yeah you're you're in this time you're in this world on this timeline this is what's happened this is what's going to happen to you and these are the reasons behind what has happened and what is going to happen and like, <laughs> I I remember, yeah, I was, it was like I was in this room, and my, my being became like a, think of like nanobots, right, you know the little tiny nanobot technology, like, it was like my body became that, like, I could see myself, like, becoming this, but also becoming nothing, and I became just my own voice, my own, like, being, right, and it 
it sent me up again and it was showing me all these stars and these galaxies and stuff like that and it was I was having the best time of my life but it was it was also this time when they explained to me this is what you're here for and again I don't know like I can't recall what it was that they said that my purpose is for here but they've made it known that everything I've been doing in my life up to this point has all been for the re for a reason and that reason is going to become clear to me at some point in my life or essentially I'm, I've already found my purpose and I'm already living my purpose out. Now whether or not that's true I don't know. <laughs> I want to believe it's true obviously. Like I really want to believe that yeah this is this is like what I'm here to do. I'm here for a reason. But with that said I now want to touch on why I why I done the streams to begin with. Now uh, anyone who's done psychedelic mushrooms or any kind of psychedelic for that matter they'll tell you it's it's all about the situation the people you're with and the mindset you go into it with and while that's true I want to tell you that <laughs> fucking ignore them ignore what they're telling you because while they're not telling you a lie they're not telling you everything they don't tell you what other people are seeing when they're, when they're fucking sober and you're off in the fucking stars, okay? They don't fucking tell you about the fact that you'll be fucking rolling around in your own fucking spit like I was. They don't tell you that you're fucking uh, cussing out everyone that you fucking hold dear when you're around them, when you're fucking tripping your nut off. Because that's what I was doing, yeah? Now, don't, don't take my experience as something that you will also go through everyone's psychedelic experiences are unique to them to them as a as one of the people right as one of the people you're going to experience your own like well experience and while i don't want to scare anyone away from doing psychedelics i do want to basically give you like a word of warning like psychedelics are not something to be fucked around with i done three grams of fucking psychedelic mushrooms and that that was too fucking much like straight up yeah like three <laughs> fucking three grams of psychedelic mushrooms is way too fucking much e even for one of the most sane people you could think of right Three grams of psychedelic mushrooms will fuck you up differently. Now, if you're doing psychedelics on the daily or the weekly or whatever the fuck, three grams probably ain't gonna do shit to you. But if you're like me and you touch psychedelics, say, once a year, then <laughs> for fuck's sake, don't do what I did. <laughs> don't do fucking three grams of this shit, man. <laughs> Unless you know what the fuck you're doing and you're in a space where you know nobody you care about will get hurt by you, whether that be physically, because I know I was kicking my mum and, well, she said I was kicking her. I don't personally remember it, like I've already stated, but apparently that's what was going on. So make sure you're in... If, if you're going to do them, do them somewhere where you're surrounded by nature okay do it where you're surrounded by nature you're out of the fucking way of people because that is what psychedelics are for they're meant for being in like nature <laughs> that's the only way i can put it they're meant for nature they come from nature therefore they're meant for it they're not meant to be taken inside someone's house and they're sure as hell not meant to be taken at night because <laughs> I kid you not, when I when I fucking came to, it was it was about half one in the morning, and all of this all of this was done with now. 
yeah, I was still like visually tripping a little bit, but it was most for the most part it was over. And I came to, and because I was because I lived with my mum and dad, it was like I uh, it was like I woke up in a fucking how do how do I explain it? It's like I woke up in a uh, in a horror in a horror film. Or something like that. That's the, it's the only words I can really use to describe it. I woke up in a horror film, right? All the lights were off. I was in I was in my room somehow, and I had my shirt off. And the first thing I thought was, how the fuck did I get here? Like, because uh, I'm 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 skipping very important details. Uh, in regards to the voice, but I'll I'll do that in a minute. Uh, essentially, I woke up in my room. It was like a horror film, and the first thing I thought was, like I said, how the fuck did I even get here? Because I don't remember walking up the fucking stairs, <laughs> let alone going into my room, right? And <laughs> yeah, I, I got up and I went and poke my head into me mum and dad's room because I could hear the TV on the door was open. I stuck my thumb up to me dad and said, oh, you alright, that sort of thing. And then he told me to go have a shower. I didn't have the shower till the morning, but I did have the shower. But when I went and checked the mirror, I had these, because my dad, had, he said that he had caused me pain, but I don't necessarily think that he wanted to. I think it was because whatever I said really fucking pissed him off and as much as I've apologised and tried to stress how sorry I am to both my parents and Ruben who I upset I feel like it's not going to be enough so yeah I've, I've checked the mirror and I've got I've got these like they were like how, how can I describe it it was like bite marks you know when you've got a bird or something or you're in love with someone, you're doing whatever, and you leave a bite mark on the neck, like a love bite. It was like that, yeah? But they were, it was like three of them. And I kid you not, it was like, I, I, don't, I don't know what happened, but it wasn't till the day after when I started to feel like the aches and pains in my, in my arms and that. Like, I'm, sti I'm still feeling it a little bit now, not, not to a point where, oh my god, it's it's killing me, but it was still pretty painful. So, I want to go back to that voice thing now, right? Notice, remember how I said uh, he was talking to me? Well, when he was uh, he was basically telling me, oh yeah, you're in this one. He he was it was like he was he was showing me like these different timelines, right? And he was showing me these different things. And he showed me where I'm at now, like, this this timeline, I'm going to call it, right? He showed me this timeline, and he put me he put me back where I was, right? He put me back in the kitchen, because uh, I was in the kitchen uh, when all this was going down at home. And he, he was still talking to me, but he, he was talking to me through my dad. Now, I have no idea what the fuck it means, and to be quite honest, I don't want to know what the fuck it means, because I feel like some things aren't meant to be understood, however, I feel like after this experience, I don't want to touch psychedelics anymore, not just because of... Uh, what's gone on while I was tripping my nut off and everyone else was sober around me but also because I feel like I feel like me and psychedelics have had our dance together I feel like I don't really necessarily need them anymore and well I never needed them but I feel like I'm confident enough in myself that I don't need to use these anymore to feel quote enlightened uh i spoke to one of my friends at work about it and he said that i've essentially had a talk with god and while i get what he means i don't think it was that but yeah 
Uh, that's about it, man. Uh, if you made it this far, thanks for thanks for watching. Uh, let me know what you think about all this in the uh, comments below. Uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fucking edit any of this. I'm just gonna put it straight up. You're gonna see everything that I'm doing. <laughs> even the even the switches for fucking music and that. But yeah, uh, let me like I said, let me know what you think, and I will see you very very soon, boys. This has been me, King Jim ninety seven, and I'm out of it. <laughs>